Hey there everyone and welcome to Maine Mini Golf Tours Tour of Seacoast Adventure Park Mini Golf in Windham, Maine. Hey everyone, Justin from Maine Mini Golf Tour here at Seacoast Adventure in Windham, Maine. We're going to play a round of 18 here and see what we can do. All right, we're here on hole number one at Seacoast Adventure with our junior testers. Here's Aaron. Say hi, Aaron. Hi. And Emma. Say hi, Emma. Hi. And we're going to take you through this course one hole at a time. Let's start here with number one. The first holes are pretty simple to start. You've got two different holes to get it into here at the top. This first one will get you closer to the hole. That second one, not so much. They dip down below to a green that undulates. And if you're caught over on the bricks, you're gonna be in trouble. Par is officially three, two is a great score here. All right, and here behind me is hole number two. As you can see from the shot behind me, you've got to get it through that narrow wedge between two water features. And they're active water features. It slopes down toward the hole and a little bit from right to left, a play off the brick is also allowed. All right, and here we are at hole number three. As you can see, it follows a curved path around and you've got to watch out for those lobster buoys two is a great score here the par is a three All right, and here is hole number four. From the tee, it's a blind shot to the hole because that rock is in the way of your sight line. But as you can see, you can go either through the rock or around it, and it's a pretty hard slope. Three is a good score. And here's hole number five. It's very tricky because you're going to go uphill over a pair of ridges and then around a corner. Real tough. Par is three, and three is a great score. Oh! On to hole number six, and you can see that anchor in the way that's right in the path where you really want to go. So instead, you've either got to go up and around the anchor, or you've got to bank it off of this near wall and back toward the hole. Which way are the girls going to go? Let's find out. Wow, that was a tough three. Here we are now at number seven, and if you look behind me, you can see the lighthouse. There's nothing funneling that ball toward that hole in the lighthouse, so what you've got to do is get it there, and then on the back side of it, there's no guaranteed hole in one through that hole either. It's really a tough hole, and you're really going to come out of here with a three. That's a great score. We're on to number eight here, and this one snakes around a cliff all the way down, and then it's behind a planter. So it's a really tough hole. You need to figure out the angles on this one, and I haven't played here enough to know that, so hopefully I can pull out a three here. All right, we're gonna make our way now down to number nine in the turn hole here, which if you can see, is down the steps and over a bridge. 
Pretty straightforward hole here. Two is the preferred score. On the back nine now here at Seacoast, and you see we are two hole options out behind me. Both of those dump you down to a second green this way. Neither of them are very advantageous. So it really doesn't matter which one you pick. Whichever one of all goes in is the best one, I guess. All right, and for number 11, after that great two on 10, this has two tiers at the end. Behind that rock is where the hole is, and then over the other side is a little bit of a depression. So you gotta stay out of that if you wanna try to get a one. Actually, if you wanna get a two, you should probably avoid it also. Three is a good score here. to hole number 12 here at Seacoast and it's marked as a par two but it's far from a par two. Those undulations straight up the way in the straight way are, are covered by a rock and if you try to go around the other way there are many undulations that could skip you off the course. So while it's marked a par two a three here is a great score. Don't be surprised to see some fours. Here at hole 13, you start inside a gazebo, and then you work your way to a hole guarded by three stones. Marked as a part two, probably rightfully so. Of course, I warned you on the last one about how hard it was, and then I got a two, so who knows at this point. Let's see how the girls do. Now we're on to number 14 here at Seacoast Adventure in Wyndham, Maine. And this one's a fairly straightforward hole. It's a bank to the right with an anchor kind of in the way, but you can absolutely get by the anchor. It's not that, that thick of an anchor. The key here is working on the undulation properly. Let's see what they do. On to number 15 here at Seacoast. Yet another anchor in the way. This time it's a little bit more straightforward. The hole is perched up on top of that little hill that you can see on the right hand side of this hole. And if it doesn't stay up there, it makes for a tough two. It is a par two, however, and it is oneable with the right bounce. All right, on to hole number 16 here at Seacoast. And as you can see, it starts out, it goes up, and you have to go around. And there are a couple of rope barriers in between. That makes it a little tough, but it is a par two, and it is certainly two-able.
And we're on to number 17 here at Seacoast. And as you can see behind me, if you stay on the level where the hole is, you're absolutely fine. If you go down to the left, however, you're in deep trouble. Stay to the left, stay to the right. And the two is pretty easy. Stay to the left, three's a good score. And we are on to the final hole here at Seacoast. And as you can see behind me, it's an up and back over a giant hill with some rocks in the way. And there is some pretty significant slope up there to get your ball around. This hole also features a hole that doesn't return your ball. This is their ball collection hole. So you better get it in and be okay with it because you're not getting your ball back. And that will do it for our round of golf here at Seacoast Adventure in Windham, Maine. Thank you to my test putters, Aaron and Emma. And I'm Justin Pelletier with Maine Mini Golf Tour. Hopefully we can have an event here at Seacoast next year. Otherwise, please enjoy this video. Like us, subscribe to us. We have a great time doing this and we'll make sure we come to your neck of the woods soon. Have a great one.